Hey guys, welcome back to Bows Fan TV, and today I'm gonna be discussing where do we go from net from here. Um, after last week's disappointing defeat in the cup final to St. Pat's, forgery defeat on penalties went all the way. Yeah, very disappointing game. I I don't think we deserved it overall. Really, a top we were pretty poor. Um, and yeah, I think it was it was a very poor game. In general, I don't think there was really much moments where there was a lot of chances or great football being played. Um, it was a cagey enough game, like most cup finals. Um, and yeah, we just came out on the wrong side of it. But listen, it's been a disappointing season in general. We finished fifth. No, we were up losing the cup final. You know, we haven't. We don't have much to shout about at the minute. But no real news coming out. Obviously. We had the news on Saturday that there was 11 new players resigned for next year. Like St. Dawson, the boy, Liam Boer, Ali Kill, Kieran Kelly, James Talbot, a few important players there that have resigned for next year, which is good news. Um, you know, I think we needed them players back. Um, cause, but it looks as things we are going to lose a lot of key players over the off season. We'll, we'll get into that in a moment. Um, so it's, it's, it's been a disappointing season in general. We, We've been disappointed by it. I thought we'd do a bit better, judging by the players he brought in over the off season last year, like Sebastian Heary, Stephen Mallon. I know Mallon had problems with injuries. Heary didn't really work out. Obviously, there was a few others that didn't probably work out the way we would have wanted them to. But there were a good, there were a couple who, who were very good. But yeah, it's just it's what it is. You have to do better next year. But. But there's a lot of key departures probably got gonna be happening over the off season. Georgie Kelly looks like he's definitely off. Rumors linking with Derry in England. Um so it looks as if he'll be off. Um you no know, who else have we got? Keith Buckley looks like he'll be off to Australia. He's been heavily linked with the Mills Australia. Um, you know, the likes of uh Rob Cornwall, he's been getting linked with Mills to America. So you know, listen. It is what it is, really. We've just got to, um, just got to, you know, get get this. Hope we're hoping to get this point of the squad tied down. Um, I'm sure a few fans are hoping that would happen, but it look, doesn't look like it will be. Um, you know, I'm, sh I'm sure, you know, those departures will be confirmed within the next few days or weeks. Kelly will probably end up going in January. The void. Staying obviously, um, Tierney's leaving, he's obviously gone from whatever else that's been confirmed. Um, Keith Buckley is obviously looks like he's off to Australia, Cornwall off to America, but it looks at things as well. So, yeah, Keith Ward's been linked with move away as well. So, a lot of leaders are gone out of the team now, but it looks a bit which is bad news for us. We'll have to go out now and try and find someone like Keith Ward, like Keith Buckley, like Rob Cornwall. Who, you know, our our lead, real leaders within the dressing room, um, and you know, can really get the team motivated ahead of the new season. Um, you know, it's gonna be very hard to replace those players, isn't it? So we'll have to just see what happens. On to a few uh, main comments. Been a little bit quiet, really. You know, the kit launches tomorrow. We we might see one or two signed if we're lucky, but um. You know, we'll have to just have to wait and see if there's any any good news for us tomorrow. Um, we've been linked with a couple of players. Will Fitzgerald is an interesting one. He he left Derry this morning. He's been linked with a move with us. Apparently, he's a real top target for us. So it'll be interesting to see if he does end up signing for us. Tunde Abalab is another player that apparently we're, we're very interested in. Um, he's he's a good player. He could I think he'd be a decent replacement for Georgie Kelly. He's he's fast. He's good on the ball. He can score goals. He done well. He done well with Harps this season. I think he scored ten goals in the league. So, he, I think he'd be a good signing if if we could get him uh, into the team. You know, others have been linked as well. The likes of um Dan Cleary of Dundalk. I know there's an offer for him to go to St Johnston. So I think he'd probably rather go St Johnston than Bowes. Really, you know, into the SPFL. Um, good league. You know, probably better standard than League of Ireland. He'd make it. A lot, a bit more money there in St Johnson, um. But other than that, it's been it's been quiet as well on the incomings. No real concrete rumors, um. 
you know, Cameron Dummigan was linked as well. So we'll just have to wait and see what happens um regarding the incomings. Um you know, I think we're definitely gonna need a good few signings. You know, with you know, McGinn is still not tied down, we couldn't end up needing a new backup keeper. Uh Lions isn't tied down yet, so we, we may end end up needing a right back. We'll definitely need another centre half with Bob Cornwall leaving. Um Breslin rumours linking him with me of the pads um and I was down leaving that one's been putting a little bit of doubt but I'd still suspect that one would happen. Um so we're gonna need a need a new left back. Wilson's obviously tied down as well so he's staying. Um we're definitely gonna need another centre mid or two with Buckley leaving. I, I think I think A Durbin from Longford is a good player. I know a couple of uh, fans on social media have said that he they, he'd be a good replacement and I agree with them. I think he's a, he's a bit like Keith Buckley, he, he's a tough tackling defensive midfielder, he's young enough as well. I know he played in a very poor longer team this year, but I think he's a very good player and I, I definitely have him at balls as a replacement for Keith Buckley. Um, you know, we'll need another winger probably uh, with keyboard leaving. Um, Bill Fitzgerald's obviously been heavily linked, so he could probably come in and be a replacement for Keith Ward. 34 games or so for Derry this season. I know a few of them came off the bench and you didn't score any goals. I haven't really seen much of them, to be honest. I know he was at, he was at Waterford before he ended up going to Derry, but I don't know. I don't have really seen much of him. I can't really comment on whether he'd be a good player for us or not. Um, Stryger will probably definitely be high up on the list with Kelly leaving, by the looks of things. Um, another Stryger too, maybe. We don't know the situation. I promise I'm a share either. He's not tied down. I assume he he may end up tying down later on in the month. Um, you know he's a very good player, very good young player. He came in when Georgie was injured towards the end of the season and done very well. Um, so yeah, he's an important one. I think we need to tie down soon enough before the club starts sniffing around. Um, because he's, he's definitely got a lot of potential. Um, to move to another club within the league or in in abroad in England or something, you know. Um. <laughs> That's it, really. You know, it's just I think it's going to be another tricky off season for us in terms of transfers and players leaving. Um, like it always is, really. Obviously, it's it's tough on Keith Long every year to replace all the better players that end up leaving the club and going to bigger clubs in England or in the league. So he's got another tough job in his hands. Um, you know, the budget might be it mightn't be as big as it was over the past couple of years because obviously we, we made it into the Euro, into Europe two seasons in a row and we haven't we haven't done it this year. I know we went on a good run in the conference league in the summer that generated about eight hundred or so grand. Um so obviously there's a little bit of money there, more than we would have had, you know, five, ten years ago, definitely. But you know, it's it's gonna be a difficult off season again, I I think and it's something to keep long now to, to try and find the right replacement uh, for, for the players that they went to believe in. You know, like I said, a lot of leaders going out with the team, the likes of Cornwall, Wardy, Bucko. So, you know, they'll be very hard to replace. Um, so, God knows what's going to happen, really. Obviously, the kit launches tomorrow. Um, so, we, we might we may end up getting maybe one or two new signings in tomorrow. Who knows? But, um, I think you know the the off season's not as long as it was last year. Obviously, it's the sixth of December now, so I think pre season is back in early January. I think, and um, the season will then start in February. So there's only about two months to get your squad together. So you know, I think we'll definitely start to get cracking now in the next couple of weeks, and hope we get a few players in and maybe a few new recent winnings too. So that's where I'll end it. Make sure you like, subscribe, share, comment down below what you think about the players leaving, the rumours of players coming in. Be happy about the players that have re-signed and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.